Welcome to It's Your Case, presented by VetCT.com. I'm Amy Zaltzman, your radiologist on demand for this week. This month's theme is A Hunting We Will Go, and then go to the vet. Today's example is a two and a half year old male intact Labrador retriever. He's a working dog who was in a training session yesterday. Unfortunately, he met with a pellet gun. He is cardiovascularly stable. Physical exam findings include swelling of the left antebrachium without obvious crepitus or instability felt. He has a small volume of effusion palpable in the left stifle, but has no evidence of cranial drawer. There is no abdominal fluid or pleural or pericardial effusion with POCUS, which is a point of care ultrasound. His venous blood gas, CBC, and biochemistry are unremarkable. There are several images that we're not going to review in this brief recap. However, they will be available through the DICOM link and also in the full report. In the left antebrachium, we see extensive swelling throughout the length of the visible tissue. Typically, in orthopedic exams, the vast majority of opacity that we are going to appreciate is that of mineral opacity of the cortex and med medulla, soft tissue, and occasionally we'll see fat that is oftentimes evident of the either fascial planes that is subtly present between muscle layers or within the digital and carpal pads. In this case, however, we see an additional opacity of multiple small, variably sized and variably shaped metallic opacities. When we convert the two dimensions of the antebrachial orthogonal images into three dimensions of the patient, we recognize that these structures must be within the soft tissues of the antebrachium. Similarly, we see multiple structures evident in the left pelvic limb as well. If we take a closer look at those structures associated with the stifle, we see that there is an increased volume of soft tissue associated with the stifle, specifically in the space of the stifle joint or within the joint capsule, that results in bulging of the caudal capsule of the joint space. And that, again, if we put on our three-dimensional caps from these two-dimensional images, we place these two metallic foci within the joint space itself. This infrapatellar fat pad does not have a uniform fat opacity. It does have soft tissue streaking within it as well. And so our overall conclusions for this patient will include extensive soft tissue swelling of the left antebrachium, as well as intraarticular pellets and edema of the infrapatellar fat pad of the left stifle, as well as increased effusion likely consistent with a hemarthrosis. Hemarthrosis can be quite inflammatory, and so this patient might have an inflammatory arthropathy ensue, and they can be quite uncomfortable as well. Be sure to view the full report associated with this case, and thanks for listening. Remember, it's your case, so please post your questions on social media.